What's going on family? This video is sponsored by Wager Baits. Be sure to stick around to view this full video. By the end of it, I can almost promise you, you're gonna be going to the description of this video and clicking on the link to go to their website. Code 903FISH10 will get you 10% off your entire order. All right guys, y'all ready? Let's go. What's going on YouTube? This is 903 Fishing. Guys, Walker and I, who's about to be over here, we're about to get on these bluegill today. These bluegill only spawn certain time of the year, so you gotta get them when they're on the beds. It is the perfect time to bluegill fish right now in Texas. And it's been a great time catching these bluegill on their beds. And I wanna address something real quick. I I've been having some flack for keeping so many bluegill guys. Once again, the same thing with the crappie. I give a lot of these fish away to families in need. I do not keep all of these fish. These fish that I catch are going to a great cause and they're gonna go in people's bellies that need them. Uh-oh, who's that? Get it? Let's go, baby. Hey guys, Walker hit me up. He wants to get on these bluegill too, so we about to get it. I appreciate y'all for clicking on this video. If you haven't hit that like button, go ahead and hit it. I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, if you're subscribed to the channel, thank you so much. God bless you. You know I would not be doing this without you guys. If you haven't hit that subscribe button and you love you some fishing, this is the channel for you. Go ahead and hit it. We would love to have you. All right, guys, we about to get it. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, so I have a video out right now that actually shows you how to find these bluegill beds. Uh, I'm gonna link it at the end of this video, so be sure to go check that out. But what I'm doing right now is I have the side scan on the Helix 7, and uh, all this over here is algae and uh, hydrilla is what all this is. But what I'm doing is I'm scanning for these uh, bluegill beds, and we're throwing a marker. First, I have to get a waypoint on the graph, and then I'll throw the marker once we go back over it. But this right here is the best way that I have found to locate bluegill beds right here. So you're actually marking the waypoint like where the side scan is so you can click on the screen and mark it over there? Yeah, so look, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go directly over that waypoint that I just did. I'm about right over it right about now. And I'm gonna throw this buoy marker right back there. And the good thing about this is we're not crappie fishing, so we're not looking for a certain brush pile. Those bluegill beds are huge. There's massive numbers of them in a big circle so if you could get that buoy marker in the general vicinity you can find these bluegill i'm gonna go ahead and be honest with you guys i'm trying something a little different i had a buddy send me some wager baits guys so good you can bet on them and uh we're trying these out today i have uh he sent me some crappie jigs as well as some bully bluegill jigs is what he calls them it's a 132nd ounce little fly jig it looks like but I also have a uh, chartreuse crappie nibble on there. And I've caught a few, uh, just now started getting the camera rolling, but let's see if we can get any more. Oh. oh, there he is, that's a good one. You know what? Well, I said it was a good one, let's see. Oh man, look at that. That's that's a big one, huh? You got a good one? I think so. right at me, yeah. Look at that, guys. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a copper nose. This isn't a copper nose, but it's, a chunk look at that guys that's that uh that's that wager bait right there look at there hopefully y'all can see that on film look at that right there tiny he calls them bully his bully bluegill jigs and i'm i'm adding a chartreuse crappie nibble to it but you know what that right there that is a pretty fish right there guys real pretty fish you want that one ah, no, he's no? Nah, throw it back all right yeah guys what i'm doing is i'm putting this crappie nibble on this jig one crappie nibble that's all i'm putting on there and it's working probably about my fifth fifth bluegill i've caught right there these bluegill seem to like these uh these jigs right here i have never caught bluegill on a jig personally so i wanted to try these out real quick now i am giving that jig you know a couple little pops guys and most of the time those those bluegill will hit it when it's sitting still after i pop it that's when i'm getting my hits usually 
and they're just taking that cork straight under it is a little windy guys as you can see it's not calm out here hopefully as the evening goes and this is also the first time i've been out here in the evening uh, i've been coming out here bluegill fishing in the morning and we're out here in the evening we're gonna stay till about dark or so all right guys sorry for no hook set on there yeah he's in the hydrilla gotta get him out of the hydrilla look at that oh yeah oh yeah hey guys wager baits coming in clutch today i tell you what look at that hand size brim right there hopefully that wind's not too bad for y'all on the camera i have a wind protector on it but there he is you want that one nah. throw that one back go to work guys these bluegill beds are all around this circle it's smaller circles within a giant circle is basically what it is and if you catch one you better throw it back over there more than likely you're gonna run across a few more and once again these bluegill have made their beds around and even in hydrilla so they're using that hydrilla as protection from other fish from predator fish oh now he might be think so yeah he's close yeah <laughs> yes sir <laughs> we doubling oh my bro bro look at that oh my gosh that is a toad i know you don't want this one you want that one though bro that's a good one Look at that, guys. Wade your baits, man. Once again, we're in about seven foot of water. What does that fish finder say, Walker? Uh, seven, seven exactly. Seven exactly. There you go. We're fishing about, you know, six and a half, give or take a few inches. We want these baits to drift over those bluegill beds, and we want to entice them to come out and protect their bed, basically, is exactly what we're doing. I ain't going to lie. This is a lot less messier than those worms. I just like how I, I, I just like throwing an artificial bait out there and catching a bluegill. Look, 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 look at what I, oh, golly. Oh, man, I'm telling you. A little guy, a little smaller guy, but still, if I can get down there, I'm having trouble with my little slip cord, guys. I'm, my little rig. I done went over to my five six rod i don't know why that other slip cork setup's being weird but you know what i got a different uh jig on here from wager baits we're gonna see how this works there you go perfect and you know what that's gonna be a fish right there brother you just got your nail you're nailed you're going oh 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 you just got nailed Did I? you it went it went down and then came up look at there guys there we go look at there chartreuse and black now this is a 132nd, guys. They're 132nd. Look at there. Hopefully y'all can see that good. I mean, these are tiny little jigs right here. Bully bluegill jigs. Boom, right there. Wagerbaits.com. That's W-A-G-E-R. Wagerbaits.com. So good you can bet on them. I didn't even mention what uh crappie nibbles I'm using. We got the power bait from Berkeley right here. Guys, these are the only crappie nibbles I will use are Berkeley. I'm sorry but all the other brands do not work for me if i'm using crappie nibbles i am using this berkeley right here any color pink white these are chartreuse you know chartreuse when it comes to pan fishing that is the the ticket so berkeley power bait or crappie nibbles get him now that was close how's he feel smaller guy yeah good fish but oh god god oh Oh, we got a head shaker. We got a head shaker, bro. Chopper no? Yes, sir. No. Is it not? No. Yes, it is. Yes. Yeah. Copper nose, baby. Look at there, guys. That little that little jig. I that this is awesome right here. I'm not having to use worms. You want that one, bro? I don't know your call. I can't tell how big. I mean, it's good. I mean, it's a toad. I filleted them that big. It just all depends on what you want to do with it. Because I'm not keeping any. Yeah, I can throw that one back. This is all you, brother. Oh! Guys, that ain't take, bro. That ain't take. As soon as it got. Oh my God, look at him running. Look at him running. Oh, copper. There we go. Copper nose, baby. 
Look at that, guys. That wager jig right in the top of the lip. Man, these right here are nice. You want that? It's a stud. You take it? That's a good one. Man, I'm telling you. Oh, there he is, bro. Uh, well, I said it felt like a smaller fish, but oh, look at there. Oh, oh that's a nice that is a nice fish. <laughs> guys look at that oh man this is some of the most fun fishing guys i mean if you have kids and you can get out here and find these bluegill beds when they're spawning this is some of the funnest fishing there is right here that's a fish right there that's gonna be a fish i'm at the bottom right now i'm way over there golly bro what i tell you what i tell you man all right all right guys you know what we're gonna do i'm gonna get i'm gonna reel this fish up real quick and it's a good one hey look at that we got a pier look at that nice that is a copper nose baby copper nose bluegill all the way you know what guys i'm about to take a picture of this i'm gonna send it to oh wager baits i'll be right back guys this right here is a deadly combination for big bluegill right here these wager jigs and the crappie nibbles oh, oh, oh. me you're down, you're down. i'm down i got him oh 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 Ooh. copper nose thick sucker Look at that, guys. Deadly combination for some big bluegill right here. Look at that wager bait right there. Crappie nibbles gone. That is a good one. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I, I was catching fish back there. I was trying to adjust the trolling motor. Oh, you're down again. Dang. Golly! Oh, you hear that drag, guys? Oh, man. We found Copper Nose City. Copper Nose City, we got a pier. Look at that, we got a pier, baby. Look at that, guys, pretty bluegill all day right there, guys. That is beautiful, Copper Nose. Oh, get him, now we doubling, sorta of, kinda. Is that a catfish? A it's, it's a little bass. Walker catching all the bass today, guys, I tell you what. Man, that was a good one. So that was my problem, at, look at there. Yeah, you weren't dripping down. What? I wasn't going down. Now that I've gone down, fish. Oh, brother. Feels like a good, oh, that, that, that's a good one. That That's a good one, it's gotta be. I feel the head shake on there. He's staying down, look at there. Oh, oh, oh. copper nose. It's not as dark though, but that is a copper nose. Guys, that is a, that, that's a stud. Hey, that is a, nice. that is a stud. I mean, look at that. I got to put my hands all the way around that joker. Look at that wager jig, guys. These, I'm going to have to get some more of these, brother. If you're watching this, I need some more of these right here, brother. Let's go. Do a test for me. What's up? I do one without the crappie nibble. I just want to see. If it works? I want to see if they're coming because of the smell or if they're coming because of appearance. Okay. I mean, it was interesting. I'll give them that. It was an interesting subject. Bro. Yeah, it's good that's oh my god guys that was without the crappie nibble now i i did uh oh my gosh guys we got a pier hey that was without the crappie nibble no crappie nibble on that one guys walker said he wanted to test it out look at there hey i got more i mean if you want to use them so I'm about to switch over. Out. I, hey my, your boy is out performing a work i know Hey, I'm gonna throw it back out there without that crappie nibble and see what happens. Hey, I did have to pop it though. Yeah. As soon as I popped it, down. Dude, that's the way to go. Not having to mess with worms. Look at that. Let me just pop this joker real quick, a couple times. Oh. oh! Let's go, guys. You know what? You can use them with, with crappie nibbles or without. And it looks like, oh my no, gosh. No. Dude, that that might be the biggest one today. Yeah, keep that one. Look at that, guys. 
What a fish. I think I found me some bluegill jigs, guys. You need to go check them out too. These uh, right here, they're working. You want that one? Yeah. Golly, man. That is awesome. That is awesome right there, brother. This one right here is the, uh, remember it's the black and chartreuse. What did I have on this one? What did I have? It's black and chart, or what is that? I'm colorblind, help me out. Uh, orange. It's orange. Orange, okay, it's orange and black. This chartreuse in black right here, look, hey, three in a row? Man, I don't know, they they seem to like that, that little jig, huh? They like it a lot. I mean, uh, they gotta be protecting their beds, you know? A little something coming up in there and they're just destroying it. Right. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's a good. It's not a. It's not a copper nose. See, I see. I wonder what kind of bluegill that is. A what? No, I'm serious. Like I, I don't. Do y'all know? In the hey guys, what kind of bluegill is this right here? Look at the pattern on that. Look at that. Pr look at that. Pretty fish. I mean, they're what, almost light. They're light. What is they're that? Right here, but they're not. If y'all know what that is, let me know in the comments section. Let me know. All right, guys, we have repositioned the buoy markers here. Remember, that was just an estimate on where that bluegill bed is. And these bluegill beds are all around that buoy marker. Uh, the wind was just blowing right in our face. Kind of tried to switch it up a little bit. We're going to see if we can't catch a few more of these before that sun goes down. Take it. What are you? Oh. That you see a bit like a crappie. Yeah. Oh, bro. Okay. Where's your line? Oh, you're fine. Ooh, oh, that's still a good. One. Not a copper nose, but hey, guys, I'm last four or five fish. I'm just throwing out just the, just the jig, and these bluegill are tearing it up right now. Tearing it up. Oh, 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 oh. Copper nose, baby. Oh God, look right by the boat. Look at there. Oh my gosh. Ooh, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> that's like cookie cutters. Oh my bad. Dang, look at that. But you this really is a the but this yeah. is a different you can really bluegill. Different. So what is this? Do you know? I think they're just common bluegill. I mean, I think. Look at that. What is, uh. So what's the difference between them? Oh, you're peeing. I oh, gosh, <laughs> man. He's peeing on me. What's the difference between what? What's the difference between a male copper nose and a female? Can you tell? I couldn't tell you, but I know this ain't no copper nose though. No. Cause look at the, look at the colors, man. That's a beautiful food. God, there, you want this? Yeah. That's a good, good one. Size as well. That's a good one right there. Look at there, right there. No crappie nibble on there. Work that jig. I'm just gonna pop it just a li little bit right there. Leave it. Leave it. Oh, there he is. Look at there. Oh. Ooh, look at that. Oh, bro, man. bro, this the five six. This, this this is a stud. This is a stud. Oh my gosh! There he is. Now that's not a copper nose. That's a red breast. Look. Oh yeah. Isn't it? I mean, like, it's pretty dark. I don't know. I don't know. No, I can't get it. I got it. Look at that. Pretty fish, guys. If you can lip a bluegill, that's a good size bluegill. That should get nailed. That's where that. Those bluegill are not cheap, dude. Really? No. There he is. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Look, dude, it, it, it's a football helmet. He has a football helmet on. Look. <laughs> that's a keeper bluegill. You want this one? Man, guys, look at that. Now, this, is that a copper nose? He has those pattern. Usually those. Well, they, you know, they, they crossbreed too. All the time. And, well, I got news for you. If, if bluegill are crossbreeding, this is the place for them to be doing it. Because I've, you know, I've, I've gotten some that I didn't know what the heck they were. All right, guys. The, God, I was going to show them the sun setting, but that bluegill had a different, he had a different, uh, something different in mind right there see like that's a good hole fry right there there's nothing wrong with that fish oh, that's a good one. you got one 
Oh, that's a that's a copper nose. Look at that. Pretty fish, man. Come on, fish. Golly. I know he's a little one, but guys, I tell you what, if you don't have some of these wager bully bluegill jigs, you need to go ahead and pick you up some. They uh they really work, guys. My first time using them. If you want a deadly combination for big bluegill fishing, this is what you need to have right here. All right, family, we're about to call it an evening, all right? But I will say this right here. I don't know how many we got. Didn't count them as we were putting them in, but there is a bag of ice underneath these, and the bag is totally covered up. So y'all have watched this video, and today was my first time using wager baits, all right? So good, you can bet on them. And I tell you what, guys, for me using that bluegill jig today, I will bet on that bluegill jig. I greatly appreciate you for sending me this box. Like I had said earlier, he originally sent me some crappie jigs, but he saw that I've been catching the bluegill, so he threw in one pack of those bluegill jigs, and I brought them out here this season, and they worked really, really well. I used two colors, and I also put crappie nibbles on them. I caught fish with the crappie nibbles, and I also caught fish without the crappie nibbles. So overall, guys, I would definitely say go check out Wager Baits. It's going to be www.wagerbaits.com. Once again, guys, we both use ACC crappie sticks. You like that ACC, Walker? Love it all day. All six day, footer, guys. Six footer. Six footer, and what? Uh, you like the six six too, right? Yeah, I do. I have six six. I've got the six six. I've got a six foot, two six footers, and then I got an eight. An eight as well. Yeah. yeah, I'm telling you guys, I mainly use the five six today. Be sure to go get you an ACC crappie sticks at acccrappiesticks.com. I'm telling you guys, these rods can be used for more than just crappie, white bass, bluegill, hybrids numerous creek fishing videos i use my six foot acc be sure to go check them out also channel memberships are now available all you got to do is hit that little blue join button beside that subscribe button a list of tiers is going to show up and you're going to be able to choose how you would like to support the channel and also 903 fishing merch all of these links will be in the description of this video if you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you're already subscribed to the 903 Fishing Channel, thank you so much. God bless you. You know I would not be doing this without you guys. If you haven't hit that subscribe button and you love you some fishing, this is the channel for you. Go ahead and hit it. We would love to have you. Like always, like, comment, and subscribe to 903 Fishing. Y'all have a great day. God bless.